for, oops, the cover just snapped off. Guys, this is what the pink eye looks like. That sounded weird, the pink eye, oops. Ah, I just made it worse. Yeah, I want you, baby. Cause I want you bad, 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 bad. Hey everybody, it's Ashley, and I am back with a haul slash review video. So I've seen these videos on YouTube where people will buy stuff from the dollar store or just any random brand and then test it out and tell you if they like it. So today I went to the dollar store and I found a new brand of makeup that I'd never seen before and it's only a dollar. So I picked out a few things to show you guys and test them out. So I got four things from this brand. The brand is called Beauty Benefits and I will show you more up close details when I get them out of their packages but I bought a blush, a bronzer, a mascara and I bought some eyeshadow I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of my own little powder on my face before I start. So I'm just gonna do that now. So I'm done with that, that didn't really do much. Also, I'm just gonna throw my hair into a quick ponytail so that I can do the rest of the makeup. By the way, this little powder that I'm using is the L'Oreal True Matte and it's called Warm. Um, I'm not sure if that's the actual name or not, but that's what it says on the case. First, I am going to test out the bronzer. So I'm going to be using this little e.l.f. brush. I think it's showing up pretty good from what I can see in this mirror. Okay, so I just went in and looked. Um, it's not like super pigmented. But it's definitely pigmented enough where you don't need a lot of it to get it all over you. I would rate this probably pretty high. So if we're going out of five, I would probably give it a four out of five. I don't really have experience with bronzers, bronzers before. For a first bronzer, I think it's really good. It shows up, easy to apply, and it's cute and compact. So I give it a four out of five. Next, I'm going to be going in with this blush. If any of you guys are like me where you tend to use too much blush, because whenever I use blush, I always use too much and my face ends up looking really red, redder than it normally is. So it's just not good a lot of brands for me. So this one, from what I can tell on this side, it's like showing up so that you can notice that I'm wearing something and it's just giving it like a perfect little pinkish tone to my cheek, but it's not too much where it looks like I got slapped in the face. So I'd give it a three out of five. Okay, now we are on to the second to last item. This is the Beauty Benefits Eyeshadow. It's an eyeshadow trio and it's called Classic. So we're just going to test out the blue eyeshadow. It's not really that pigmented from what I'm getting off of the brush. So I'm going to give it a second chance and try to do it with my finger. So I am definitely no makeup artist as you can tell and I don't really think that this color goes very well with me. I'm going to test out the pink and the brown right now quickly for you guys to see, but from what I'm noticing, it's not very pigmented, so it takes a lot of layers to get it to show up. This one is slightly more pigmented than the blue one, so it's going on a little bit easier. I'm noticing. I 
actually kind of like that. I think it looks pretty good. I think it will look even better when the mascara goes on. But this is what the pink eyeshadow looks like on my face. So last but not least, I'm going to quickly try this brown eyeshadow that's at the bottom of the trio. Pretty good. So this is what the eyeshadow looks like. The brown eyeshadow. Definitely the blue was my least favorite. I think that the blue was kind of a fail. But the pink and the brown turned out pretty good. The pink actually really surprised me because I'm normally one to stay with like the browns and that type of color eyeshadow. And so I don't really like to go towards pink and blue. Overall, is it worth it? Depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for just cheap, natural makeup, definitely go for it. It's a dollar, even if you don't like it. You know what I mean? It's only a dollar. But definitely not my favorite palette. I am excited about the pink and the um, brown. Definitely gonna wear those. So last but not least is the mascara. I am super excited about this because I love mascara. Like eye products are like my favorite. On the box right here, I will read what it says. It says natural looking volume, enhancing effect, and it says clump free. So it would be really good if this mascara was clump free because that's really hard to find a mascara if it is clump free. Also guys, I'm really sorry about not posting a lot, but it's because I'm in the midst of getting a new camera. I'm going to be getting the Canon G7X Mark II. Super excited because that's the camera a lot of big YouTubers use. I've been waiting a while to get it. It's just kind of expensive, kind of really expensive for me. So now is the time when I'm going to get it. You'll see a lot more better quality videos then and more videos on my vlog channel. So thanks for watching. Bye. Love you.